Hello guys, welcome to another Star Wars Helmet Collection review and today I'm going to be looking at the Tuscan Raider. Anyway, as per usual we'll start off with the uh, magazine. So now we've got basic stuff there. Stupid Anakin. Opening it up. Got that there. Just give you a quick little rundown. If you're interested in just the helmet then this will just take a minute. I do this in all the reviews. I just, you know, try and show you the whole of the magazine. So, you know, you have the chance to pause and read if you really want to. So, you've got that there. Looks pretty cool. Ben Kenobi. Yep. Jawas, got that there, little thing about Tatooine, and on the back, the next issue, which is the Imperial Gunner. Anyway, putting the magazine to the side, let's look at the helmet. Now, this one I was very happy with. I can get it off the, there we go, same basic acrylic base that you're probably used to. I was very happy with this one for a number of reasons. Before I show you that, Tuscan Raider, same basic stuff that you're used to with the stand. But yeah, let's move on. This one I was very happy with because, you know, I saw it um, on the back of the magazine. It didn't look too good, mainly because it's... Once again, not a helmet, it's... This one isn't even like the helmet of a droid, like C-3PO and General Grievous. This is a character's head. And this doesn't look like the kind of thing they'd just be slipping on and off either, because, you know, it's, it's wrapped. It's, it's literally wrapped all around their heads. So, yeah, it's literally a head. But anyway, it's, it's a well done head. It looks good, as you can see, you've got the whole, like things for the eyes you know so they can see better this like i think it was like a filtration system or something made out of plastic i think you could have done with a bit of weathering here and there but oh well you've got what looks to be blood marks which looks nice it's a little bit too neat for my liking you know i would have liked it if it faded or something and if you didn't run parallel like wherever you see a bloodline there's always another one running parallel to it there 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 there, there and there, on the back, you know, I've got the same deal there, and here, you got the only one I think that doesn't run parallel to another one, and along here, every bloodline, apart from one, which is that one, runs parallel to another one, and I think it makes it look a bit too uh, unrealistic, you know, I don't, I don't think blood's going to flow like that, well I know it wouldn't, I should say. This is literally all comprised of rubber, as you can see, I'm moving it. I would have, maybe if they could have glued it down a bit, you know, so it would look more snug. But oh well, it's got a lovely wash to it. I say lovely, it looks terrible. <laughs> it needs to be, it needs to go in the wash. But you know, it looks really good. You've got some like tears in the fabric, various shades of like beige, like you know, black very subtle black and it looks good which I think makes this like on a scarf section pretty tacky looking I think if they had just something going on with this it'd look much nicer but yeah probably this is the heaviest one so far it feels pretty solid you've got your like warrior spikes on the top it looks really nice actually I'm very impressed with this one Put it back on the display stand. Just do it off camera as per usual so I can line it up nicely. That's that. Put the acrylic case back on. Doesn't want to go on if you hang on, bear with me. Oh god, what's going on here? There we go. Like literally, 
I don't like the cases, they feel very ugh, whenever I try and put them back on after a review. Like literally every time I review something, or one of these I should say, for example the Boba Fett. I reviewed it, put the case back on, had the same issue where you know it feels like it's going to break and I haven't taken it out since. So that's that, and I can say it's never going to come off again more than likely. But as per usual, compare it to last week's, no sorry not last week's, the uh, previous one. The Royal Guard, as you can see, this is the regular type of case. In fact the next issue to come out is uh, another one with this type of case, it's General Grievous's Magna Guard. So yeah, I would have just preferred it if they made them all in the uh, shrunken down one instead of this one, but oh well. The Tuscan Raider, very nice, I, this is a really nice one, you know, even with the parallel blood, I think it's really cool, even though it isn't a helmet. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, take care.